Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are just about to head out today to go to Kmart. So um, it's school holidays and I'm gonna let the kids have some money and we've decided to probably get them like a Lego set or something like that that they can play with over the next couple of days. So it might be a pretty big Lego set depending on the price because Lego ranges and you know it goes up pretty quickly in price. So um, we're gonna go to Kmart and do that. And this morning, oh my goodness, my slow cooker broke. Can you believe it? I've had it for like 10, 12 years and I was pouring like boiling water into it and I heard this crack and I'd already filled up like the slow cooker with vinegar and cloves and bay leaves and things because I was cooking a um, corn, I was gonna cook a corned beef and I thought that's a crack I heard. And I thought I'll have a look at it and um, it didn't have like a massive crack in it, but it was sort of had it like must have been like a Just a fine crack enough for it to be sort of just dripping out the bottom lucky I didn't put the machine on like lucky I didn't have the electricity on and um, the meat in it and things like that So we figured it out it was definitely leaking so we've thrown it in the bin and it's so sad because I can't go I can't live without a slow cooker. I have to have one so I'm gonna pick up one from Kmart there's a $45 one, I'm pretty sure. So I'll have a look at that. I did want to eventually get like a good one with a pressure cooker in it and things like that, but I don't want to spend like $150 at the moment on one of them. So I'm gonna go and check that out tonight. And just a few other things, you know, Kmart's Kmart. Haven't been in the store for a little while, but we don't live very far from Kmart. But in saying that, sometimes they don't have the things in stock that you want to look at anyway. That's why I do the delivery, because I know that, you know, I'll usually get what I want. But it's always good to have a look and I'm going to take the kids with me and my husband as well because he wants to get a few items as well. So I'm going to try and film a little bit in the shop. Um, I'm just out in the backyard at the moment and it's really hot. I've been inside the air conditioning and it's flary and it's hot. And we've got like white fencing, so the glare. Look how big my passion fruit vine is. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. Um, so, and also I just quickly watched, oh, well I watched um, Rhiannon from Life with Coffee and the Jones Boys and she just did an Aldi haul. And thank you Rhiannon because I'm about to head to Aldi tonight and pick up those boxes of Oreos and that chip box. I think it's 60 in a box or something like that. So I'm hoping to get them tonight. I had a look in the catalogue catalog to see if it was in my area and it seems to be. So I'm going to go and hopefully get them, fingers crossed, on the way back from Kmart. So um, I really don't want to spend too much tonight. My youngest boy's got some money from his birthday, but my oldest boy spent all his money. And the other day I said to him, you know, if you want to go to Kmart, keep your money. Um, you know, you can have a look around if you want anything from Kmart. But he said, no, 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 I want to buy something on Fortnite instead. So instead he's got no money, but my youngest boy's got money. So I'll see how that one goes. But um, instead I'm just gonna make sure we just get, I'm just gonna get them a Lego set. Just something to do over the next few days. We've still got like a week left of holidays. So I wanna do that. I need to pick up a birthday card because they're off to a party on Saturday as well. Both of them are off to a party. They've been invited to both of them, which is really nice. Really nice. Um, and yeah, and whatever else I can pick up. I don't really need a lot from Kmart because I just pretty much buy what I need. I'm gonna put my glasses on. It's a bit annoying, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I usually I just buy what I need from Kmart on the one pass, but um, quickly have a look. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna have something light to eat before we head off, so the kids aren't hungry and looking and looking for food and takeaway places. Because we've spent so much money on the holiday just on takeaway places. Yeah, so hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, they've got those boxes of chips and things like that from Aldi that I'll stop in to get them on the way home. But I think that's it. So I'll hopefully just take you take you with me into Kmart tonight and have a look at what they've got in there. There is a couple of things I do want to get or want to have a look at price-wise. Um, I just did a shop the other day. I haven't shown it of my son's clothes, which I'm not going to do it, but I did get him a heap of clothes. So 16 clothes because that's what he's up to now. Um, and we're really happy with that. So he doesn't need clothes. My youngest boy doesn't need clothes. But... I always like to buy some clothes, but um, we'll see, I don't need them. But anyway, let's go and have a look what I can pick up from Kmart tonight and hopefully I can get those boxes of snacks from Aldi.
finally back from Kmart with just a quick visit. I had a look around, didn't really need a lot of things, but I managed to go to Aldi and I'll show you the Aldi haul um, with this video as well. So if you, if you stay tuned, I'll show you the Aldi haul after this part of the video, but I managed to get, I managed to get a big box of chips. Um, I tried to get the Oreos, they didn't have any in stock, so I'm so happy that I got them because school's going to be coming up in the next week or so, and it's just cheaper to buy it this way. So uh, thank you, Rhiannon, again. I did manage to get them, but I just couldn't find the Oreos. I looked everywhere. I did get a few, another item that was an, a bulk item. I'll show you that soon in my haul. But um, yeah, good price. I think they were $21.99. So I'll show you what I picked up in the Kmart haul. I'm just going to probably lay them on the bed and show you because I've got the tripod sort of just held up here so it's just easier to do it that way the first thing i picked up from kmart i saw this backpack i really liked it it was like nautical sort of colors it's a double zip navy and white backpack and it's obviously got like brown trimmings on it as well and i have had kmart bags before and backpacks as well which are, are really good i do put a lot of things in my handbags there's always like bottles of water and snacks and things for the kids but I do prefer having a backpack sometimes if we go out and about and we're walking and things I find a lot better. It doesn't sort of weigh me down on one side like a handbag does. So I really needed a new handbag. This was only $18. I just thought it looked different. You know what I mean? Like it just looked different. I usually do go with more of a neutral tone with handbags and things, but I did like the look of this one. So um, yeah, I pretty much grabbed it as soon as I saw it. And for $18, you can't beat that price. And I've really needed some new pillows. I have gone through stores and stores of pillows in the past and I still can't find the right pillow. I'm sort of looking for more of a low profile pillow, but more harder. Um, I really don't want the medium profile ones, but we felt these and they seemed okay. These are called a cooling touch, cool touch pillows. So there's two in the pack, medium profile. Um, and these were $30 for like the set basically so I thought this was good because we've got one each for myself and my husband um, but I'm still not confident that I'm going to be really happy with them I'm not sure I just find the pillows that are around nowadays are just not as comfortable or they just don't last as long but we'll see how we go with them they're nice and clean and it's always nice to get a clean pillow so we didn't end up getting Lego because once we got to the shelves, everything was bare. So everyone must have had the same idea on the holidays about getting Lego for the kids, but there was no Lego left. So um, uh, we just sort of split the money sort of thing and they got a, something each. So um, uh, I got my oldest boy this ro remote control dog because this is what he wanted. This one was $20. Uh, it looks pretty fun. It does lots of different tricks and dances and plays music and all that sort of thing. So I thought he'd like that because it's, very, it's pretty hard at his age now. He's 12 years old and, you know, the toys there are a lot younger. So we sort of looked at drones. They had a drone there as well we were going to get. Um, we've had a drone before and it didn't last that long, but he did have a lot of fun out of it. So instead of the drone, he got this remote control dog and I'm pretty sure this will keep him entertained for a little while over the holidays. And my youngest son chose this build and decorate your own cubby house. It looks really big and we don't have paints. We're just going to color it in with crayons and all that. So I'll let you know how that goes. But I think it's going to be a lot bigger than what it looks on the box here. And we're going to have to just try and all color in um, a little bit at a time and get it done because he wants to sort of use it, use it as a lemonade stand because that is what he's been doing over the school holidays is making lemonade and selling it to us. Um, so he wants to do this as like a lemonade house and sell out of it. So um, yeah, hopefully this will keep him entertained. But this was $35 for this cardboard cubby house. And I did manage to pick up a slow cooker. They did have two there. I ended up getting the five liter slow cooker because this was only $24. I can't believe it's that cheap. So the five liter looks like just a little bit smaller than the one I had before. And the other one was $45. So I just went with this one because I'm just not sure how long it's gonna last. So I just wanna see how it goes. And I didn't wanna spend any more than $24. So really, really good, really happy with it. And it, like I said, it does just look like the same one I had before. I'm pretty sure mine was a Canbrook, my last slow cooker, but I'm really happy with the price for $24 because I just get so much use out of these slow cookers. So show you the Aldi things that I picked up tonight as well. Just a few things. I only went in to get the Oreos and the chips. Didn't have the Oreos, so I ended up spending more money, didn't I? But let's go have, let's have a look at what I picked up. 
So welcome to my little Aldi haul now after the Kmart haul. Now, firstly, I found these banana chunks. They're frozen and they are Australian, which I was really excited about. They're $6.99 a kilo and I thought that was great. I've already got bananas in the freezer but I just wanted to get them in case they ran out of stock. And I'm always looking around for supreme frozen pizzas but they seem to be out of stock but Aldi had them tonight. They were $4.49 each so I just got two just to see what they're like. I may have to put extra toppings on but you know just as a standby for the next um, week over the holidays. I got some of the mac and cheese. This is only $3.99 at Aldi. You get the four pack. The kids have already had a box these holidays but they really like them. And I've also got some chocolate crowns because the kids chose them. $3.69 a box. We needed Worcestershire sauce, which was only $1.99, which is pretty good. And I come across these gorgeous little Easter cookies for $1.99 for $12. I really like them. They look so cute and I thought that'd be good for the kids, even if I just keep them for school the next week. And I've also got the kids a pack of these donuts. These are the mini donuts. I have not tried these. You get 14. They are frozen. Um, and they got jam in them. So I thought they were a great little snack for um, lunch boxes. And the donuts were only $3.99 a box, which was, I thought was really good. And one of my other bulk item was these Kalamata olives. They're 3.4 kilos. They were $16.99, but we just go through so many olives. And I've seen these in Aldi many a time over the years, just never bought them. But this time I thought, why not? My mum likes olives as well, so we'll probably just go halves in the jar. Um, and just put them into smaller jars, you know what I mean? And I'll just keep this big one out in the fridge outside. But a really good purchase for that because, you know, olives are so expensive now. And I did just get three litres of milk for $4.49. I just wanted to get an extra three litres just to have in the fridge before I have to do the Woolworth shop by the end of this week. And the big box of chips that I showed you, the Mega Mix before, these are the 60 packs for $21.99. I'm so excited to get these. I was even thinking about buying another box, but I thought, no, I won't do it. But I was really excited because I haven't really bought chips in a big box like this before. So tonight's Aldi shop costs $75.09, but I'm pretty happy with what I got and the bulk items as well. But thanks everyone for watching today's Kmart haul and Aldi haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for my next videos. <laughs>